There's some stunning new details in the mysterious death of an Army Green Beret back in June. We've told you how two Navy SEAL members are now being investigated in the killing of Staff Sergeant Logan Melger in Mali. Now, the Daily Beast is reporting now that those two Navy SEALs were stealing money from a fund used to pay informants. Melgar apparently discovered the theft and then refused to take part in it. The Daily Beast says a fight broke out and Melgar stopped breathing. We must note that we have not been able to confirm this reporting. Uh, our Barbara Starr joins us now from the Pentagon, but she is following all the latest developments. A delight to see you, Barbara. Obviously, uh, when something like this goes on, there's a big investigation. What more are we learning of the confirmed part of the investigation from what, you're, from what you've heard? Well, Michaela, all we know at this point is that the Navy does have now a criminal investigation underway into these two Navy SEALs. Uh, they were part of SEAL Team 6, so a very respected unit, Daily Beast, reporting exactly what you said, that there was money being skimmed potentially from a fund to pay informants. Melgar found out about it somehow. Uh, a dispute broke out, and this is how he uh, was killed. What we know is the military coroner rule, ruled Sergeant Melgar's death a homicide, essentially death at the hands of another. And this has not gone to the point of charges. There's no discussion of murder charges or anything like that. So it's still pretty murky as to exactly what happened. CNN has not confirmed independently what the Daily Beast is reporting, that money uh, was the issue here, illegally taking money from a fund. So it may be some time before this is all sorted out and it's figured out uh, exactly what happened to him. We do know that his family is being kept informed of the investigation at certain points, being told what is happening. Uh, but very difficult circumstances and very unusual. This is not something that one thankfully hears about routinely. No, Michaela? not at all. And maybe you can give us a bit of a refresher, Barbara. We know that there are American forces and various African nations. What were they, these, these Navy SEALs and Melgar doing there in Mali? Well, what many of the U.S. forces are doing in places like Mali and, of course, Niger, where we saw the ambush of those troops in October, four uh, Army soldiers killed in that ambush, these are small unit activities. And what they're mainly doing is training and advising local forces. What they're trying to do is get local African militaries up to par, get them able to look out for their own security, go out into the field, conduct missions on their own. It's going to take some time, officially tell us that uh, these forces, these U.S. troops, have to be out there with them, training, advising, and assisting them. U.S. troops also, however, conduct their own counterterrorism missions when they find a target. If there is a major ISIS or Al-Qaeda figure, uh, they will go after them. We have seen a number of airstrikes in Somalia, for example, going after uh, terror figures in Yemen. So there's quite a significant operation, about 6,000 troops in all across Africa in many, many places, Michaela. Well, I know the investigation will continue. It will take time, I'm sure. But I know the family of Staff Sergeant uh, Melger needs answers. They need that closure. Uh, we really, really understand that. Barbara Starr, thank you so much. A delight to sure. see you, my dear. Okay. Be well.